guys, HTV here. Now, recently, I reacted to some of my old Pokemon animations that I made way back in like 2014, 2015 for a celebration of this channel hitting 100,000 subscribers. Now, I did it because it was embarrassing for me, it was cringy, it was funny, and I, you know, I kind of wanted to give something back to you guys. However, a lot of you guys actually really enjoyed them, and whilst a lot of you did say they were pretty cringy, a lot of you guys, like I say, thought they were kind of funny, so... Yeah, today I'm going to react to some more, because I do have like 40 animations on this channel, and a lot of you guys do want me to react to some more, so hey, why not? A quick backstory about this channel though, like I say, I made them all in 2014, 2015, when I was like 16, 17, so they're not great. Um, they do have a couple swear words in, not like loads, like every other video, and obviously this is a PG channel, so I just want to get that out there already, just so you guys are aware. And also, if you guys want to see another one of these videos... Let's hit 500 likes on this video. If this video hits 500 likes, I will react to some more. And I've got like Frozen animations, I've got Harry Potter animations. There is everything there, but this again is just solely Pokemon animations. But if you want to see me react to even more of my old animations, you gotta hit that 500 like goal. Let's see if we can do it. But uh, anyway, without further ado, let's get into this video and I really hope that you guys enjoy. So starting things off, number one is Facing Brock. This was made on the 12th of December, 2014, and it got 139,000 views, so that's pretty good. But anyway, let's get into this video. So a nice pan shot looking into the gym, looking good. You dare challenge me. That's my deep voice when oh, I was 16. Yeah. You dare challenge me. That's kind me. of the point of your existence, man. It's kind of your point of your existence. Uh, that was, damn. yeah. <laughs> good old Pokeball animation. That's weird. <laughs> Go Charmander! Go Charmander! Cha. I like when I found out the effects about these things. Like the tail, like the, the tail over here. Like that, that's all effect man, that's that's good effects that is. That's top quality content right there. Cha. With the Pokeball, zoom and everything like that. Face palm and apparently. Don't you know the rock type strong against fire? Yep. You're gonna need more experience than that if you want to defeat me. Good old arm shaking all over the place. Wait, I'm a bit thirsty. I'm gonna go get some of the By drink. the way, this is the stupidest animation you're ever going to watch in your whole entire life. So basically, Ash is fighting Brock. He sent out Charmander. Brock's like, don't you know the fire's weak to rock? And then Ash is like, I'm thirsty. I want to go get a drink. Mid gym battle. And this is what happens. This is... I don't even know what was going through my head right now. Hang on, it'll be one minute. T turns the tap on. No Just wait, random. that's loose. That's loose. Uh -oh. The tap's loose. Ah! <laughs> this is the stupidest animation ever. Ah! <laughs> that ah! water. <laughs> it's just kind of saying like <laughs> I don't even know <laughs> so basically a backstory guys if you didn't know uh, because like water is obviously super effective against rock he, he, he turns the tap the tap breaks off the water kind of goes out of the tap goes to onyx it's super effective and just takes out the onyx and then that's pretty much the whole animation so not my best moment at all really i think it's actually really really bad it's just funny how bad it is like the concept of the whole thing is just so stupid and i don't even un understand how i thought about it i generally don't know uh it was just i, I kind of just talking about how water super effective against rock and i thought it'd be a good funny way on how to show that but uh, yeah, that was Facing Brock, a Pokemon parody made by yours truly in 2014, near the end of 2014, should I say. Anyway, next up we got Teaching a TM, Pokemon parody. This was made on the 5th of February 2015 and it got 90,000 views, so here we go. It's all about how like you teach a TM to your Pokemon pretty much. How the heck do I teach you this TM, Evie? Got Evie though. Nice tail flick though. That's some that's some pure animation. I actually muted it's it there. TM. Look at that pure animation. TM. That is what I'm talking about. Crisp, shine me up to Disney. I don't know what this guy's design is like a mix of Mario and I don't know some old fat guy I guess what seems to be the problem my young boy yep and also I don't know if you guys noticed a couple of you guys like some people commented in the in the comments about this the clerk randomly cries whereabouts is this he cries he cries like near the start I think yeah he cries here just watch the clerk over here the just cries I don't even know why I put that in he just cries <laughs> but anyway yeah, this, this old fat guy just runs up to I don't know, this is supposed to be Ash, maybe. Uh, Voices are terrible, as TM's you can probably you. tell. Well, that's okay. You just got to shove it in his face like this. <laughs> uh, <bye. laughs> just kind of showing how, like, TMs just don't make sense and how you'd actually teach TMs to Pokemon. And he's basically just like, hey, you should just shove it in his face like this. And then he runs off. It's, it's 
basically what happens teaching a tm that's that's how it goes that's, that's what we're talking about anyway that was teaching a tm next up we got charm that can't cope now this is a pokemon mystery dungeon parody not sure if you guys have ever played mystery dungeon but it's all to do with like the different items you get whilst you're in the dungeons this was made on the 6th of march 2015 146,000 views so not bad at all and uh, i actually got help with the voices for this animation but i think there was something like a problem with his recording audio or something because it doesn't sound amazing but it was still really cool like I, I actually kind of enjoy this animation if you guys have ever played pokemon mystery dungeon you'll kind of understand what where this is coming from but anyway wait i think i heard something you can kind of hear the voices i didn't hear anything even though my voice is a tragic anyway i definitely heard something coming from over there i don't, don't see know. anything what is it that eerie music i think you need to stay off those rare candies man <gasps> stay off Look those rare there. candies need a king red eyes boom that oh, animation crap. effect, by the way, was like, that's how they move in. Do they? I don't even remember. I haven't played Mystery Dungeon in years, but I thought they kind of hopped, but I don't think they do. They just walk normally. Maybe it's just I couldn't be bothered to animate the legs or anything. I really don't know, because I was trying to get this out quickly, maybe. But anyway, oh, that's crap. what happens. That thing's coming at us fast. <laughs> what do we have in the bag? Just a sleep seed. Quick, throw it. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, I love that sound effect. You're like... <laughs> But basically, when you play Mystery Dungeon, you can throw items to, like, put Pokemon to sleep or, like, paralyze them or whatever. And a sleep seed is what puts the Pokemon to sleep. It's really broken in the games, but it was kind of just, like, this is a re realistic version of that. Like, if you just threw a seed at a big Nidoking, it'd just, like, bounce off. But I just want to watch that, like, like scene again because it's really funny. <laughs> just the sound effect. <laughs> it just literally does nothing. <laughs> I actually really enjoyed it. That's funny Sweet watching that. Sweet Mama Charizard, apparently. But yeah, we got old Kane McKee. I don't even know where that guy is or who that guy is, really. Actually, I think he's the guy that did, like, the, the latest animation on this channel. I'm not sure. We'll probably react to that in the next video if, you know, this gets 500 likes or anything. Anyway, next up, choosing your start Pokemon. Another one of my favorites from this channel. I really, really like this animation. This did really well. I made this on the 9th of January 2015. Got over 200,000 views, 201,000. And I really, really like this animation. Just like the Ditto Daycare that I reacted to in the last episode, in the last video of this. This is one of my top favorites as well. It's kind of like probably one of the best parody jokes I've come up with regarding this channel. But anyway, so it's about all about auras. The, anim the voices are just so bad. So obviously, Bird just getting attacked by Pucciano. Oh, hello, you over there? Please help. In my bag. You're fading it's blue. A the bag of there's a Pokeball. The voices are so bad in this. It's really annoying because the joke was so good. So yeah, he's getting attacked by Pucciano. And just uh, <laughs> runs off with all the Pokemon. So basically, obviously, you guys have played Auras. He's getting attacked by like a Zigzagoon or Pucci or anything like that. And then you've got to choose one of the Pokemon in the bag. This is basically just like, why doesn't the trainer just take all three? Like, the Professor Birch isn't going to stop him. So he just picks up all three and he's like, I'm going to take these because why not? Like, nothing's going to stop you. So <laughs> that was kind of that. Is there anything else to do? No, there's nothing else at the end. But yeah, that was pretty much everything about, about that. It kind of makes sense though to be fair. Like, why wouldn't you just run away from it? Because, you know, you just basically stole all three Pokemon. Kind of makes sense. But yeah, I did like that animation. It's just a real shame about the voices. I think my mum was like in the house like all day and I couldn't really do voices when my parents were in or anything like that because I was kind of conscious back there. Uh, Self-conscious about, about like the whole like doing voice and stuff. I still am now like if I'm recording and people are upstairs I still can't like do it properly like record let's plays or voice or anything I usually just edit when anyone's in the house but uh, yeah I was really bad when I was making these animations so I couldn't really make any uh, you know voices or anything like that during whilst my uh, parents were anything like that anyway the last one because we're reacting to five today is catching a shiny Pokemon now this was a re-upload I remember this um I, I uploaded this ages ago as a series you know the Pokemon series that I, I reacted to last video uh, that was episode one this was originally going to be uh, Pokemon and I, I called it Pokemon but it got took down for I don't even know why. Like, I didn't use any copyright music or anything like that, but YouTube literally just took it down. I re-uploaded it, and it I just called it something else, and it did, like, twice as good. So this was uploaded on the 30th of June, 2015. I think I originally made it in 2014, though. It got over 311,000 views, so did a lot better when I re-uploaded it. So, hey, yes, YouTube, thanks for that. I mean, appreciate it. But, yeah, this is obviously uh, going on, on right Ralph, now. I know we've had 9,872 encounters so far, but we're bound to find a shiny Pokemon soon. Basically just showing, like, how difficult it is to find shiny Pokemon. To Digimon. Otherwise, he's switching to Digimon, you know. We'll just have to keep looking. We'll just have to keep looking. Wait, what's that? What's that, Ash? What you found? Little bush animation. <laughs> Look, there we go. Shiny I don't know why I didn't make a spark. Okay, anything, Growlithe, but... let's go. Use Ember. Use Grrr. Ember. <laughs> that, like... That was literally me just going... I'm going to try and like, find it again. Uh, Use Ember. This bit. That's just me going... <laughs> All right, Growlithe, hit it again. Oh, those background effects. Gotta love them. Oh. 
sends the rats to flying. This is also something like Pokemon logic just doesn't make sense. So I got a crit. Well, Ash got a crit on the Rattata, and then Rattata fainted and disappeared according to Pokemon logic. Like, what even is that? Like, you think in Pokemon, if they faint, they can't move. Like, where do they actually go? That's something I've never really understood about Pokemon, but yeah. That's what What's the matter happens. with you? What's the matter with Every you? Every time I really need a crit, like in a gym battle, you just stand there and lick things. I don't know and the what's one time I here. really don't want you to get one, you get one. <laughs> I don't even know the. I just don't think I needed. I didn't know an ending for this. God damn it, Growlithe. So. Yeah. Hey, thanks for watching my video. That was uh, it. Sorry, so sorry. like I say, there's still like a couple, of, like there's still loads more I can react to, like Thor's Hammer, Ash Goes to Prison. That's a, that's another one of my favorites. But like I say, I can react to that next time if you guys do want to see a third reaction. Because like I say, I'm actually I'm actually enjoying going down like this stroll down memory lane and reacting to all these. But yeah, if you do want to see the next part, guys, 500 likes. I think we can hit it because you guys seem to really really enjoy these uh these videos. But that is it from me though, guys. I hope you did enjoy uh, me reacting to my old Pokemon animations. Hope you do enjoy the animations. But to remember my second channel, Twitter, Twitch, Instagram, channel, Discord, Patreon, all of that can be found in the description down below if you want to check any of that out. That is it from me though, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing rest of your day. And until next time, guys, peace.